Hi, it is Saturday, January 23rd, 2016, and uh, it's 11.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't have the pretty nails or anything going on, um, and my chair is really squeaky. It's kind of, it's really broken, actually. At any time, I feel like, like it was broken when I bought it. It was a floor model, but I really liked it because of the wood of it. And, um, but there's been like a piece or something missing from underneath it. But anyway, guys, uh, this is just an update for you guys. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> I'm being very awkward. Uh, so I've continued with the one line a day, a five year memory book. Every everybody's seen this. Everybody's seen this. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Like I said, I was intimidated about doing it. And I guess I never really wanted to think five years into the future before. Though I wish I had. Um, you know, <laughs> a lot of interesting things can happen or change in a five-year time span. And um, it's a shame I've never done this before. But... This is the first year, and uh, I get my husband's input with this because I want it to be ours uh, for the you know, hopefully, we're together for five years at least. Um, that's the idea, anyway. Um, and if not, well, then this book will get all the more interesting. But I like to hear what he has to think about anything that might have happened that day as well, also because I don't. Uh, leave the house much. Although you'd be surprised. I can still think of things to write about, but it's like a capsule for you, for what might have happened and or something. So I would say this is working out well so far and we're near the end of the month and we've done it every day. <laughs> the, the writing this. I like it because every some days it's tough to pull um to pull thoughts out of my husband he he is it's like he's never been encouraged to um think for himself or to think of his thoughts as being valid or worthwhile and it's tough for me because I really think there are some amazing um I think he's more insightful and intuitive than he then he, uh, it, it, you know, he, 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 I sound biased because I'm married to him, but believe me, I was his friend first. And so it's not like one of those very, very romantic kind of relationships. It's more, um, so I have a perspective of having been his friend and, um, I just see a lot of, I, I hope he, builds more. I, I know this comes from somebody who has their own self-esteem issues, but I just, I would, I like hearing more about what he, he thinks. Um, and when he does share, it's really interesting. So I think this might be good to see him be, feel encouraged to think of something like, I think last night, where did I put big big moon in the sky he had said because uh, he, he was just trying to think of something about the day and that's really you know very very I don't know it's not poetry or anything but I liked that I liked that because that's exactly what's going on outside a big big moon in the sky and he had pointed out to me on his walk home from work um it was you know so I I, I looked at it from Look at how much year we got left. The year's just beginning. So anyway, that was my little ramble about this. This was expensive. I would say this is pricey. It's twenty two ninety five Canadian when I bought it at in at um um Smith Books in the mall across the street and Smith Books is part of Indigo and chapters and all that. Um, if you're thinking like 
but I think everybody's seen probably this in other places, perhaps cheaper, I don't know. But I do think it could be worth the money. It says it's by Chronicle Books because it's quality. It's, it's definitely a quality book. And if you honestly do... Oh, look, dates to remember. If you honestly do um, use it every day and you use it for the number of years, I can really see how it's going to be interesting to see patterns and memorable events and just taking that time for that little note. I don't know. I'm not I'm not saying you have to go out and buy this. I mean you could you could turn any journal like this is just you could turn a journal and notebook anything and make your own one line a day. I mean, I'm all for do it yourself, uh craft craft like people who can do that, you know. Having uh been into zines and that in the past, I, I say why not? Make your own. Um and you could every day in the space but obviously this is pretty nifty and I could see this being especially nice for people who have like kids or something that they want to or family or somebody that like I don't have anybody to pass this on to but I have a lot of journals and I guess this will just go into my journal collection but I mean I could see this being valuable to you know, your your descendants or, I don't know, I don't know. now I'm getting all sad. <laughs> what am I doing any of this for? <laughs> no, it's for me and um, my husband, so anyway, enough of that. So this is probably what you guys are wondering about. What am I doing with my journaling? First of all, look at this. Look how that's looking lately. That's just holding it in my hand, and this is this is how far I have to go. So the page number I'm currently on, I finished 197, so I have 198 and 199 here, and I've written the numbers ahead, just another page, to 200 and 201, and that's it so far. So I write my numbers. Um... I'm gonna share some, just some quirks I have, um, or um, I guess it could be kind of obsessive compulsive things about journaling. First of all, I just want to say I really do like this journal. I know it's taking me a long time to get through um, because I was a sporadic journalist. I mean, I started this July fifth, two thousand and fifteen. It's journal number 37. So I've had 37 paper diary and paper journals like total that I've used that I've written in with only two that um, were unfinished in all my time. And I've done this since I was about 11 years old. But like I said, it's been sporadic. I don't always write in my paper journals. But um, I have written every day this year so far. So I've marked that with this, I guess as a bookmark. It's getting a bit weathered, but I do like it. I wasn't gonna use it at all because there's this here, but this here, but um, I find it's a good spot to mark for the first of the year. And uh, I have written every day this year so far. So that's cool not very much on every day and some days I'm writing a few pages. I, I would like to get back into where I'm writing all the time, like often, where I'm turning to write in my paper journal when I'm, ugh, my fingers, sorry, where I'm turning to the pages more often than not because I guess this is where I say, I've been sad and lonely. No, I haven't been necessarily sad, but I have been, and I'm not, I'm never bored, and I'm not, I, I don't know if lonely is the word. I guess I have been missing some friends and conversationalists and stuff, so 
Um, I haven't felt this way in a very long time, but I don't know if I've ever really felt this way so much, but maybe I did and I just automatically would go to writing, but now I'm finding that I, I do think that I need to write, which is why it's a little sad that I haven't been typing uh, journal entries, like blog posts every day. I haven't done that for a while this month, so I'm hoping to get back into that again. But I'm trying, like writing every day and this is helpful and I want to write a lot more because there's things I just can't write about online anymore and I want to work some things out and I want to express myself and I know that my paper journals are the place for me to do that. So even though I share some stuff with you guys, obviously I, I, I'm not going to do page by page flip throughs of that's the problem with when people have asked for flip throughs. My journal is going back to age 11. Um, well, well, if I took the time and marked out certain pages, I'm sure there could be interesting things I could share. Well, I've got a lot of interesting things I could share, but I wouldn't exactly call it like the, you know, all the, um, journal, journal or diary, videos where people are reading their grade school journals and it's like so hilarious and oh aren't they silly mine weren't like that mine were like i went through a phase of of deep spirituality like no religion i went through i dealt with stuff growing up and then when i was like a teenager i had a full-time job and um <laughs> my first serious relationship happened at 19 and it went like it was with a man much older than myself and so like and and the job stuff and like I don't I've had a lot of serious stuff through <laughs> that I just I don't well it could be interesting it's not exactly YouTube uh I don't know I have to think about some more because I don't want to I don't know how many people would actually be able to relate to stuff I would uh, be able to share. And there's certainly a time period of stuff that I can't just blab out. I mean, there are some YouTubers that can get away with it, but they've achieved like a certain milestone of followers where, you know, they can share some of the stuff and it doesn't, it's not going to affect them quite so much because they've, I don't know, shared enough so much. I don't know, that didn't make sense, but you know, when you've reached a certain um, untouchable point or you've crossed that point of no return, uh, you can, yeah, but I'm not in that, I'm not, um, no. <laughs> so, the thing I was gonna share, wow, I can't believe I've rambled about nothing for so long. One of the things I do after I've written a few pages for that day is I have to go back and I count each number of my pages. Like I'll go back and I will count, I will go, let's say I've written to the end of 199, I'll go 199, and I'll have to go back and I'll go back all the way to the beginning. So does anybody else do that? Because I've had to do that. I've ha I do that sometimes. Well, usually often. So after I've finished writing for the day, I go back and I'm also looking at the dates. So let's hope I haven't messed up a date when I've reached 200 pages. But I, I, I check that my dates were, you know, that I didn't mess up my dates. And... So I guess those are a bit obsessive compulsive kind of tendencies, but that's what I do. I make sure that my numbers are in order and I go back through. So that generally happens each time I've finished writing. Um, the amount of pages I might write at once. Like I said, it varies. Like today, yes, well, yeah, today it's 11.51 p.m. Uh, two pages. The day before, two pages. The day before that, two, four, five. The day before that, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three with a little bit down there. And then the day for that, two. Day for that, two. 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 One. One. <laughs> One. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one. One, two, three. Great card from a friend in Toronto. Uh, one, one, two, three, and part of one. So four, one and a half. One, two, three. One, two. One and a little bit, and not even, like see how little, and then one, two, and one. So that's how I've written every day of this year. Very little. The pages are small. As you can see, it's not a big book. It's, um, oh, I still like the feel of this book. This is one of the things where even though I know it's taken me a while because I have, I have only started writing every day recently, I still love this page so much. That came from something like um, mainstream. I even I don't know. Maybe it was. I think this came with um, the indigo, the tall tumbler uh, that is glass that looks like a mason jar, but it's really tall and I have a straw. It has a straw in it. Maybe this wasn't it. Don't quote me on that. It's a quote. I didn't mean to do that. But I think that's what this was stuffed in. And it's a throw. And I'm actually reading a book on walking right now. Which is ironic because I'm not really doing a lot of walking lately. But it's called Wanderlust. I'm also reading um, uh, a Naomi Klein book. Um, but it's taking me forever because it's a um, pretty heavy topic. But... Climate change, kind of, you know, the rise and fall, disaster, capitalism. Is that the one that I'm on? No. No. This changes everything. Yeah, capitalism versus the climate. Sorry, I was thinking of the shock doctrine. But I'm reading the blue one. Anyway, I'm taking my time with books right now. So. And journaling. So, I really do love this journal. I recommend it again to anybody looking for the, if you find it. I will say again, even though I've said it before because I get asked when I show this one. Where did I get it? It's like, I like this fabric. I got it in Scotland at a, at a shop. Um, a gift shop. And uh, this says here... What, what it, um, um, my husband's snoring in the background. Oh, 300 pages, so I still have 100 pages to go when I reach 200. Paladone. So there you go. Brighton Road in UK. Paladone.com. But I'm sure that it's, it says it's designed in the UK and made in China. So I'm sure it's, um, and I bought it in at Camera Obscura, the shop in Edinburgh, in Scotland, in April of last year. Wait, we went to Scotland first, so March, April was Ireland. So, March of last year. Well, guys, I've talked long enough. I just... Um, I wanted to do a voice post because I really feel the need to ramble and I, you know, sometimes when you find it hard to express yourself in one way, you look to express yourself in another, um, but I'm, I'm just feeling, finding it difficult and so I'm probably gonna, like, it's, it's 11.56 p.m. now. I'm waiting until after midnight and then I'll start a page again. I'll start Sunday's I have a burp in my throat. I'll start Sunday's entry and I'll write and I'll probably like watch videos or vlogs or listen to music or something on my computer and then I'll go to bed and um, 
I'll write again tomorrow. I really like these pages, so. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what journal I'm going to use next. Uh, but when I get to that point, I'll probably show you guys um, where I'm at. So this is what's left. Like, wait. So this is the page I'll start on. And this is what's left. hundred pages apparently well 102 pages left if they're th exactly 300 pages and I have not torn any out I think the quality is pretty good it's oh I was gonna say it's held up really well but yeah it's still you know it's still just a second guys I'm trying to show you with it <laughs> not exactly how video production but you can see it's still holding, the binding's holding. It's not, it's not falling apart. But I'm also not stuffing it with lots of things. I mean, there's only a few pages where, where, you know, there's NaNoWriMo, there's a list, there's a card. Um, there's another card in here. Um, but for the most part, I'm a text-only journaler, so... That's probably a good thing for this. It's just great. Great size. If I was getting out more, I would appreciate this journal for, um, for its compactness. For if I was taking it in a, in a bag or something. I love this though. So, I like this. Hold on, I'll show you again. I mean, here it is when I'm holding it, and then just letting it go. Like, I love seeing how pages do that. You know, I think that's one of the best things. And one thing I noticed with this journal that's different than most of my journals is, you know, another thing that I like about writing in paper journals with pen is you usually see your pen marks all along here you know what I mean like you'll see them because you've written in it but this one because maybe it's because of obviously the outline that uh, I, d I don't know it's just not happening so that's kind of cool yeah I really love this one but I, I want to finish it soon I'm not gonna rush it as far as but I should be done this within I don't know how many pages, a couple pages, two pages a day. I don't do math, so two pages a day. Well, let's do math. Let's take out a calculator. Two pages, like, cause we're gonna narrow it down. 100 pages, oh, this where I, <laughs> 50 days, let's say. And so that's 30 plus 20, so a month. It's the 24th, so 50 days from the 24th. If we count February with, you know what, I'm going to say that I should be done this, that's 50 days, so only 10 days short of two months. And there's a leap year this year. There's an extra day in February, an extra day for us to write in our paper journals. So let's say a full month of February, full month of March. If I'm only writing two days a week, two days a day, I mean, two. if I'm only writing two pages a day, this could take me another couple of months to finish. So in March. But I'd like to be done before then. So here's hoping I pick up the pace, right? Get more out. Because clearly I need to talk about some things. It just sucks. It sucks when I feel the burden. And when I know that I'm not, not expressing myself fully. You know? Anyway, thanks for listening. And uh, I will work on making um, some other videos soon. 
I've got um, other ideas and oh if you've listened this long you'll get to hear about how um, we're gonna we're in the process of buying a house sometime this year at least that's the intention and I've never done that neither has my husband and uh, we have an idea of what we're looking for and that is going to be something I will definitely vlog but it's something I will definitely write about as well so uh, um, I don't I don't know I think that's something that makes <laughs> big events like that are definitely well every day is worth writing about but that's definitely something that will be at I, I'm curious as to what journal I'll be writing in when that happens and if it will like um, you know sometimes you pick a journal and then you don't know what's gonna happen down the road you, you have some ideas maybe if you made plans but let's say you haven't made exact plans and you know how sometimes your journals end up kind of going with what Okay, I'll tell you, I know this is going really long. I'll keep this under a half hour, but for instance, I started this journal in July of last year. And actually things weren't too bad overall. Well, something had happened in June, but overall things have been, I don't know. But I've all, I've, I have this icon, like this graphic, in an LJ like live journal icon and I've used it when I've felt like under attack or something as in like maybe overwhelmed people are misunderstanding me or you know there's a bit of fighting going on and it's upsetting or feeling a bit you know yeah attacked <laughs> cards against me kind of thing and uh I didn't really feel that way when I started using this journal exactly you know I felt I've had some things going on but nothing too much that's not why I picked this journal to write in I picked this one to write in because it's freaking beautiful and I love Alice in Wonderland and I wanted a small notebook to write in like this is smaller than a previous journal because I wanted to change and I, I really like smaller books but I found that this year and the end of last year I have felt particularly like this. Now, I didn't plan that, and I, that's part of the reason why lately I felt so um, despondent. Not overly, like I, I'm not, you know, dwelling in it all the time, but I am feeling a bit sad about some stuff, and um, a bit. Know, like this and so it's interesting that this should end up being the journal during this time period okay well other good stuff is happening but um i'll get to that another time this was just a late late night talk so and it is now after midnight it is 12 5 a.m on sunday so i'm gonna shut up turn the camera off and start writing in my paper journal and letting it hear what's on my mind because that's what this is for and by the way thank you for watching and listening and um sharing your journals and thoughts and writing your stories in your journals your your lives your chronicling um yeah we're all we're all alone together <laughs> take care